in energy, we're already buying over $500 million a year in energy and almost every bit of it is going across the Confederation Bridge. Just imagine what this province would be like if we even had 40% of that that we produced here. Why, why are PEI's electricity rates the highest in Canada? The reason is simple. There's no incentive for anybody to get lower rates. We're going to make sure that our energy prices are competitive. You can't say they're going to be the lowest in Canada, but they have to be competitive. We all get our electricity from the same sources. Why are we paying so much more? We have an opportunity here to develop more renewable energy. We can have more wind, but it doesn't have to be a company from France or a company from the United States or a company from Germany that comes in, takes our electricity, takes our wind resource, sells it to the United States and takes their profits home. We have an example of Eastern Kings where Islanders own the wind farm. We use the electricity here, the profits stay here. I see an island where we can go one step further than that. We can have people directly own the wind farm. It can be a co-op model. It can have towns and villages and communities owning. Hospital foundations can own a share of these wind farms. We're already buying the electricity. Why don't we produce it here? Why don't we keep the profits here, keep the jobs here? Imagine what happens to our economy if we keep hundreds of millions of dollars circulating here. And the beauty is we don't have to go and find a new market. We're already buying the power. It goes back to confidence. We can do it. We've got people all over this island just looking for an opportunity to take advantage of new technologies. We can be the leader. I see an island where we're not just 73 shades of green in our grass and our leaves and our flowers, but we're the greenest province, the greenest jurisdiction in the world. We have the chance, we can do it, and we will do it under my government.